Here we go. Today is Sunday, May 6, 2018. This is the cell phone. This is the landline. And it's just showing a date. Okay. But yesterday I made a video. As you can see on the screen there, it's paused with uh, one of these phones, anyway. Of the Iowa Iowa CS R10, which is what we're looking at right, or anyway, what I unboxed yesterday. So then I made a video of it right here, and there's been 44 views of that. Okay. And here I made a video of it, uh, of what works and what doesn't work. Okay. And then I have serviced it now. I want to go through this. See, open with that. Let me just go use the. Okay, so it's. Can you see that? Okay, great. So that's the front of it. It's got left and right input. It does not have a AC input. It only has a DC input. Headphone jack and line in. That's your top, and it's um, just got one microphone. It's got your line-in radio and tape, your external microphone input there, mono or stereo, and also your oscillation for the recording with the AM, but anyway, who cares about that. You have your playback metal CRO2 or normal. You have your tone control and a volume with auto loudness. This model has four bands, so it has long wave, medium wave, short wave, and FM. And it has a tuning knob on the top. Okay. Got your four bands right here. And then it's got your eject button there. And then the rest, everything else is soft touch. Right. There's nothing on that end. And that's the back. I want to point out that this is a model. It says here CSR10L as in lamb or lima. Okay, so it's a CSR10 Lima. They call it a R10, so I don't know if there's any other different models of this, but that's the back of it. it takes six C batteries, but I'm running it on. There's the bottom, who cares? It takes these screws when you remove the back. That's what it looks like when you get inside of it. This has two motors, it has one motor. For the take up spindle and fast forward and rewind, and then one motor for the rest for the up for the dual spin uh, cap sense. Again, I just take pictures as I go. That's the other end. There's a just a ground wire goes under there. There's just another view of the ground wire. There it is. Who cares? And again, just had it open, unplugged the thing, so I took a picture. Unplugged the speakers. Okay. This is the main uh, control deal. You got to remove all six screws to get that panel off. That's what it looks like when you take it off. It's just a bunch of miniature uh, momentary buttons and such. It's the inside of the back of the front cover and doesn't tell you much in the way of the speaker, it's just it's uh, it? 2.6 ohms. That doesn't give a wattage. Okay, so that's the uh, I just like taking pictures. Huh. All right, here it is. I flopped it open. There's a circuit board on the back. You gotta remove those two screws, and now here, see how. You see that? That's um, entirely too big. That's all the entire belt, all wrapped around that. It's all in goo. So there it is again with all this goo glory. Isn't that ugly? Okay. So, and just a view of the motor orientation, another view of that. Everyone loves to see that. It's like, where's my belt? Okay, so and then I eventually cleaned it to where it looks like 
that. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's clean. Okay, another view, you don't need to see me blow that up. Okay, I didn't take a picture of the underside of this, but all you need to do is remove um, these two screws and that screw over there, which removes the entire panel and the motor holder assembly. I already removed the motor to clean it. It was a lot easier that way. I put in a 6 inch flat belt. Okay. Um, anyway, 6 inch flat belt. Okay. Here it is installed. Okay. It goes completely around this one here. It only brushes up the side of this and then around that. Okay. Another view just to emphasize that it goes around like that. That's just a picture of that chip. I don't know what it does. I haven't Googled it, but there it is. Alright. Both pieces. And here we are with this. So now, what I want to show is that once you get this apart, once you get it apart, let me angle the camera down. Alright. Alright, so once you get it apart, Well, that is right where I want to be, pretty well. Okay, so here, just right there. All right, so should have gotten my headset on. Let's get the headset on so you can really see. All right, so there we go. That. All right, so now if you get your tape, if you after you rebelted it. You go to try to dig around in here into the uh, back of the motor, which is this is the capstan motor right here. Um, there's not you, there's nothing behind that rubber panel, so you have to find the speed control for this, which is if I can get this to come over a bit is right here on this little circuit board. Okay, but you can't see that, so. All right, there we go. All right. See, so I'm going to play you a tape. Let's see here, play this. Let's see if I'm get in trouble with it. Okay, so I'm using these little. I don't have the regular headset. Uh, I don't have the regular speakers plugged in because it's too difficult to do all this. So I have a pair of. Walkman speakers plugged into the headphone jack so it's not very loud, but you still be able to get the idea. So here, I'm going to hit play. So there's that. Okay. The wrong screwdriver. I did all this and didn't do the right... Oh, uh, wait. Where'd it go? I had a... Underneath this, there it is. Okay. Well, it flopped on again. Hang on, let me stop that. There we go. Holding too many things in the hand. Okay, so put that over there. Put this here. Okay, so now, and you can't see because my hand's in the way. All right, so I want to get to here. Okay, well, I really can't see that. I guess I should zoom out some. Let's just zoom out. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Okay. So if you hit play, okay, let's hit rewind. Play the other side. So that's the song ended, ending out. So I have it full up. It's full blast. Well. I should fast forward to some. Well, anyway, this is the speaking for. So that's it. It goes all the way slow that way. And I'm going to go back fast. You can. That's full blast. 
and that's the song end. So here, let's let me um, I'm gonna kick this out. Let's hit stop. Let me get another good tape, which I just had here. Oh, we can use this. Here's Avacab. Put that there. All right. Hit play. So that's what it sounds like. Really slowed down. Of course, you can just. That's what it sounds like really fast. So I'm gonna take my time, get some better tapes, and and um, and uh, get the right speed on here. Okay. So I just thought I'd let you know where that is. It's in that circuit board up there. Plus I can. This will go really slow. Alright, well, so let me just hit stop on this. Alright, so I stop that one. Okay. So should you ever get one of these models, which is uh sorry. If we get one of these, it's pretty easy to rebuild. It's tedious, but uh, it's easy to do, and it just doesn't have a balance. And I'm going to clean this up some more, and I'll put it back together and make another video. But I hope you enjoyed this, as it works great, sounds great, just doesn't have a balance control. Okay, good day, bye-bye, hope you enjoyed it. i got to go. Bye-bye.